live your life like you're the hero in your movie. And right now is when the fucking movie starts and your life is a shitbag disaster like every fucking Arnold Schwarzenegger movie where he wakes up and makes a blender full of pizza and ice cream and that's what he, you know what I mean? Yeah. Those guys were like on the brink, they put the gun in their mouth and they put it down because they see a photo of their daughter. Pretend that's you. <laughs> Pretend you are, uh, right now, you're in the part of the movie that starts and it shows you as a fucking loser. And just decide not to be a loser anymore. Live your life like there's a documentary crew following you around and you are analyzing your own behavior. Do what you would want to do so that your kids one day would look back at it and, and, and see that documentary and look on it with pride. Like, wow, my dad was a bad mother. He really did what he had to do. Wow, my mom really got her shit together. I love a success story, but even more than a success story, I like a dude who f***s his life up and then gets it back together again story. Those are my favorite stories. And the way to do that, hmm. you gotta write shit down. You gotta think that you are the hero in your own f***ing movie, and then you gotta sit down and you gotta write shit down. Write down what you need to do. Most people play the role of the victim in the movie, right? Sure. Yeah, this life is f***ing me over, man. I could have had this, and I should have had that. And why does this guy get that? And why does that guy get this? And all things that are completely unrelated to you. Yeah. All things that you, you find other people's success as a, a, a downfall in your own existence. Instead of being inspired, instead of choosing to be positive, instead of like improving constantly on, on the direction of trying to achieve whatever the f*** you have written down, you just sit around and spiral. You know, there's nothing more miserable than sitting around someone that's fucking complaining all the time. It is one of the most annoying things ever. Everybody hates it. When someone just sits around and they complain about their life and they don't do jack shit about it. And you tiptoe around it, you don't know what to say. Well, she gets upset when you bring that up. I don't want to bring that up. And you want to go, you fucking crazy bitch, you know what's wrong with your life. Yeah. Stop, stop announcing it to everybody else and go out and fix that shit. And that's tough love. Yeah, Tough I, love is what everybody needs, absolutely. me included. That's the only good thing about, like, asshole on the internet. Sometimes they <laughs> say things that's right. Yeah. Sometimes cunts will say shitty things to you on the internet about a show you did or a thing you said or, you know, oh, the fucking, that joke you made on the podcast, you're an asshole for even thinking like that. And, you know, a part of you is like, fuck you, fuck you. But you, you feel bad if things are correct. You feel bad if someone nails you. You'll feel bad if you really did. If you didn't do anything wrong and someone acts like a cunt, it's just like they look like a crazy person. Like, but you have to be able to have that honest assessment of yourself. And the only way you can do that is you're taking account of yourself all day long. You're taking account. You're writing down what the fuck you need to do. You're doing it. You have a, a mindset that you want to maintain throughout the day. Don't let the world maintain your mindset. You choose what mindset that you are going to maintain. And I do that for sure. That's it. Take out your words of wisdom by Joe.